Oh, yesterday we had an interview scheduled with funny man Rob Schneider about his tour coming to San Antonio this weekend. But just before the start of our interview, he learned about the passing of his dear friend, Norm MacDonald. Yeah, again, we asked him if he wanted to just postpone or put off the interview, and he just wanted to compose himself a little bit. And he decided he was going to go through that with the interview yesterday with us, and then also with his uh, show here in town this weekend, because he said his friend Norm would have wanted the show to go on. And, you know, he shared so many wonderful things thoughts about his dear friend and of course he wanted to share those memories with you and here's Rob, Rob Schneider talking about his good friend Norm McDonald. I, I would be remiss to not talk about my friend Norm McDonald who passed away this morning. Um, he's a comedy great legend and um, irreplaceable. You talk about like someone who who stands up um, against the greats with a singular voice. All you need to hear is one, it's like those great jazz musicians, you can tell the difference between Dexter Gordon and John Coltrane, you know, and uh, just in a few notes, whether it's, um, uh, and Norm MacDonald's one of those guys who would just, you could tell a joke, they could get nothing, and then he could tell that same joke and murder with it, uh, all because of the way he, his incredible, unique delivery. And I just, there was an innate sense to him of what was funny. And an impeccable timing that was just the you know, the best form of it was for stand up. Also, conversation. I mean, just to be in a room with him, to be on a plane with him. Do was, other um, comedian as a comedian? Then do you learn from each other as far as that goes? Do you kind of like okay, he told this joke this way, and do, and do you kind of like that that friendly competition? And you know, who can oh, tell course. the joke better? No, it's like tennis. It's definitely like tennis. I mean, you you want to play with somebody better than you. and Norm was the funniest guy in the room. Norm would, um, wasn't necessarily the one who got always the biggest laughs from the audience, but from the comedians, we knew he was a particular genius, you know. Norm would have this intel incredible ability to tell a joke and you have no idea where it's going. And then you get lost and you think, oh, may I know where this is going. <laughs> but then you, the next thing you know, you forget. He just, he was a master of turns and slight and like, you know, I, we, I, last time I performed with him and, in 2016, I didn't know it was gonna be the last time I performed with him. I just found that out in my old pictures. And um, he was like about ready to light a cigarette and then he would tell a joke. And then he, but, and then, you know, he'd be, he'd take, and, he'd be, and then it was just anything could be funny, you know? And like he, he did this thing about like um, this joke, which I, I just thought it's just, it's just genius. He said, you ever uh, find yourself in the, in the middle of a lie? And you, you realize, wait a minute, there's no possible way that I could benefit from this lie. Why am I lying? <laughs> like, hey, you see the new Star Wars movie? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and that's the joke. It's yeah. the timing. It's the, it's the idea. It's the pause. It's the kind of, you know, he was very proud of the fact that he would always play you know, he was the smartest guy in the room too. The most well-read, you know, and maybe I would read one book on, a, on, a, on a, an author. He read them all. Yeah. And, um, but he always said, you know, these guys are trying to play more than you. The audience don't like that. They don't like that. They want, they want somebody that like, you know, Charlie Chaplin was the biggest star in the world because he was less than everybody else. He said, look, you know, look at that guy. Yeah, my life's tough, but look at that guy. And he's right. <laughs> yeah. and that was a big influence on me. But um, I will perform this weekend. I was thinking about not. I was thinking about not coming out. Just like, but I don't know. Norm wouldn't want that. I'm going to go perform and uh, dedicate it to Norm. And I'll do some of Norm's jokes. <laughs> Such Rob wonderful Schneider. words. Oh, yeah. It, yeah. Obviously, he was very shaken up. But again, thank you very much, Rob, for, for doing that interview with us. And of course, uh, Rob Schneider is still going to go ahead with that show Sunday night at 730 at the AT&T Center. And you can find the link on our website, essaylive.com.